Yo what's up folks, here Mox Z Gaming, and I've got some exciting news for you. After spending a few days immersed in the game, I've put together a new edition of the Kimono Friends Kingdom Best 6 Star Friends tier list. This time, I've included some awesome characters that weren't mentioned in the previous tier list, like Lion, Fennec, and more. As a result, there have been some changes in the tier rankings compared to before. I want to give a big shout out to all of you for your comments and feedback. You guys are amazing. I'll make sure to regularly update the Kimono Friends Kingdom Best Tier List. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Regarding this tier list, when evaluating characters, I prioritize those with unique skills, excellent role-based habits, and awakened talent. Our focus is on characters that are easy to use in any team or battle situation. Well, let's talk about S Tier first. Let's talk about Lion, the Assault Class character in Kimono Friends Kingdom. In my opinion, Lion is the ultimate DPS powerhouse in the game and I highly recommend players to try and pull for this character. Now, Lion is quite rare and unfortunately hasn't made an appearance in any of the banner events so far, but guess what? I got lucky and managed to pull her for free, trust me, her talent skill is absolutely amazing and highly appealing. Now let's take a closer look at Lion's talent skill. Lion starts preparing for a hunt and powering up to instantly get 35 leaves at the end of a round, plus 5 leaves. Each leaf increases the Miracle DMG multiplier by plus 14% with a chance to activate her serious state, giving her a chance to use her Miracle again based on the number of leaves. The Lion ferociously attacks an enemy unit, dealing PDMG equal to 110% PATK to an enemy unit. When it comes to challenging boss battles, Lion is definitely the top choice for a 1 vs 1 showdown. It's crucial to position Lion as the first character to enter the battle. Why is that? The answer lies in Lion's unique ability to accumulate leaves through power-up. At the end of each round, Lion gains 5 leaves, and the longer Lion stays in the battle, the more leaves she accumulates, resulting in a higher Miracle ATK percent. Therefore, it's advisable not to use Lion's Miracle skill too early. Instead, wait until the third or fourth character has entered the battle before unleashing Lion's Miracle skill. This strategy can deliver a devastating blow to the boss, especially considering that Lion's attacks deal true physical damage. Furthermore, to rapidly increase the number of leaves, it's recommended to include a support character with the power-up attribute as the second character to enter the battle. This will accelerate Lion's attack rhythm. Ever since I obtained Lion, farming tower levels has become an absolute joyride. Lion is like an ace card that guarantees victory. You simply can't afford to miss out on her, folks. Serval, she is a high single target damage dealer known for her agility. Her normal attack deals physical damage equal to 100% of her PATK. With her talent skill, she leaps and pursues her prey, delivering a powerful punch that deals 804% PATK damage and follows up with additional damage based on her catapult ATK. If she has hit the core earlier, the follow-up damage increases, her awakened skill grants additional damage when hitting the core and enhances her catapult ATK buff. When a teammate hits the core, Serval gains ATK. With her potential ability, her catapult ATK damage increases and she has advantages in radiant situations. Overall, Serval excels in dealing high single target damage. Suri Alpaca is a healer with high single target damage. Her normal attack deals damage and heals all friends for 140% of her SATK. Her talent skill, Miracle, brews hot black tea to heal all friends for 491% of her SATK. If any friends have less than 30% HP, the healing is increased by 25%. With her awakened skill, Suri Alpaca receives healing for the next two rounds, equal to 20% of the healing received. She also has a 35% chance to offer a refill to the friend with the lowest HP, excluding the target, and heal them for 25% of the healing received. Additionally, her overflowing passion converts 55% of excess healing into a shield for two rounds. In terms of potential, Suri Alpaca can perform an enhanced attack that heals everyone for 281% of her SATK every four attacks. She also gains Kimono Miracle Level plus three, a combo effect plus 35% and the ability to use the enhanced attack twice per battle for every three attacks. Crested Ibis is a high AOE damage character. Her attacks bounce between enemies, dealing 62% SATK damage with each bounce. Her talent skill unleashes her singing voice, hitting all enemies three times with sound waves for 724% SATK damage. After using her Miracle, she gains plus 1,316 ATK for the round. In her awakened state, Crested Ibis enhances incoming buffs by 5% and deals increased damage to Ceruleans with over 50% HP. Her Miracle dispels buffs on other friends, granting her plus 15 SATK for each buff dispelled. With her potential effect, her Miracle DMG permanently increases by 2% upon victory with Suri Alpaca. The max Miracle DMG boost of Sheepish Tea Party reaches 65% at max stacks of Could You Help With My Practice, her awakened 
second skill gains 170% ATK by dispelling other friends' buffs. Unleash Crested Ibis's powerful AoE damage and unique abilities to dominate battles in the game. And then, let's talk about a tier, Fennec, an assault character in Kimona Friends Kingdom, specializes in dealing physical damage. Her talent skill, take it slowly and keep calm, grants her 8, dice, and collects 17, dice, on the field after using a miracle ability. She then unleashes a powerful attack based on the total, dice, points multiplied by 41% of her SATK. In her awakened state, Fennec always rolls dice with numbers greater than 2 when using a miracle ability and selects the dice with the highest number for a stronger attack. Her miracle damage is increased by 15%. With her unique abilities and strategic playstyle, Fennec is a valuable asset in battles. Unleash her powerful attacks and aim for victory in Kimona Friends Kingdom. One of the most terrifying aspects of Fennec is when she unlocks Awakening 1 and 2. The dice always show numbers greater than 2, and if she has 25 dice, each rolling a 6, that adds up to a whopping 150 points. Multiply that by her physical damage multiple multiplier of 41%, assuming Phoenix SATK is 500, and you get 30,750 damage, and if she unlocks Awakening 3, the overall damage is further increased by 15%, totaling 35,362 damage, it's absolutely terrifying, with so many dice, the enemy will be left in shambles. Hippopotamus, Class Attributes Guard, Normal Attack, deals PDMG equal to 100% PATK to an enemy unit, talent skill, Hippopotamus pummels the ground and shatters rocks to hit an enemy unit, dealing PDMG equal to 355% PATK while gaining a passive, Sister Hippo's reminder. Hippopotamus takes over a place and does her best to protect all the friends in combat, granting them plus 4219 DEF. I gotta say, Hippopotamus's defense is tougher than a turtle shell, but here's a pro tip, when setting up your team, it's best not to place Hippopotamus at the front line, instead, go for the third or fourth position, why, you ask. Well, when Hippopotamus takes damage, she provides a shield equal to 20% of her PATK to other teammates, it's like having an extra layer of protection for your squad. So, make sure to strategize and position Hippopotamus wisely for maximum defensive benefits. Awaken skill, potential ability unlock miracles grant plus 50% SDEF, Kimona miracle level plus 3, same radiance teammate friends DMG plus 6%, miracles grant plus 110% SDEF, friends nearby Hippopotamus take 13% less SDMG for one round. Giant Panda is a healer known for his healing abilities. Her talent skill involves entering a dream surrounded by delicious bamboo, where he heals all friends for 344% SATK and summons three bamboo shoots. In her awakened state, bamboo shoots provide plus 65% healing and can remove three debuffs. Activating a combo grants an additional bamboo shoot to trigger the get one more bamboo shoot effect. The five-star friend Jaguar must participate in battle. With his potential unlocked, Bamboo Shoots provide plus 110% healing and can be activated below 35% HP. Using a Miracle Ability grants an extra Bamboo Shoot, and Panda can carry them while moving. Harness the healing powers of Giant Panda and his Bamboo Shoots to support your team in battles. White Rhinoceros enhances team ATK and deals high physical damage with her normal attack. Her talent skill grants her additional death when entering combat with armor, and she gradually loses stamina based on her death. Her Miracle Ability unleashes a powerful attack that hits all enemies multiple times. In her awakening, state, White Rhinoceros gains a death boost and gradually increases her death each round. She delays her attack in the first round and attacks based on her speed. Her potential effect further enhances her death and residential in the first round, and her awakened skill provides additional catapult DMG overall. White Rhinoceros is a valuable asset to the team, providing enhanced ATK and dealing significant physical damage. Rockhopper Penguin excels in high single target damage. Her talent skill is a powerful performance that deals 782% PATK damage. Teammates have an 8% chance to gain Idle Blow. In her awakened state, Idle Blow becomes 57% more effective. She activates Untimely Play, dispelling buffs if there are fewer than 4 types of Rock and Roll. Dispelling over 20 buffs grants her 4 types of Rock and Roll, with 70% increased effectiveness. With all 4 types of Rock and Roll and 6 plus stacks of Idle Blow, her Miracle DMG increases by 30%. Her potential effect boosts combo activated friends damage. Any friends with combo deal plus 20% DMG, and idols deal plus 32% DMG with 75% effectiveness increase. Unleash Rockhopper Penguin's devastating single target damage and unique abilities to 
to boost your team's performance. Finally, B-Tier, Silver Fox, in Kimona Friends Kingdom is a supportive character with a special talent skill called Lucky Machine. This skill grants a high chance for four random friends to receive two to three dice with random points, bringing luck to the team. In her awakened state, Silver Fox gains a chance to activate 777 and improve the result of the roll a die skill when using a miracle ability. Her Kimona Miracle level increases, enhancing her overall performance. Additionally, teammates with the same Radiance attribute receive a damage boost. With her unique abilities and lucky effects, Silver Fox brings valuable support to your team in battles. Harness her skills and enjoy the benefits she brings in Kimona Friends Kingdom. When Silver Fox and Finnick are on the battlefield together, they can unleash their maximum potential. Whenever Silver Fox activates her Lucky Machine, Fennec has a high chance of gaining dice points, and it also increases Fennec's damage as they both share the Radiance attribute. However, one downside is that Silver Fox's true value is only realized when she is teamed up with Fennec, making her less impactful when used alone. Emperor Penguin enhances Team ATK and deals high damage with her normal attack. Her talent skill inspires the next friend to enter combat with increased Miracle ATK. She also gains fiery souls for each idle penguin on the field. In her awakened state, Emperor Penguin's miracle becomes more effective, boosting Miracle PATK. Her singing voice inspires friends, increasing their ATK for a few rounds. Her potential effect benefits friends with activated combo, granting them a radiant advantage multiplier. This effect remains active even without Emperor Penguin. Unleash the power of Emperor Penguin and her inspiring performances to strengthen your team's ATK and dominate in battles. Moose is a death-based character known for her powerful attacks. Her talent skill deals 362% PATK damage and grants all friends a plus 5,232 death boost. In her awakened state, Moose provides a shield based on her PATK and can tank damage for friends. Her potential effect enhances attributes based on the equipped habit. Unleash Moose's powerful attacks and dominate battles. Finally, let's talk about team build. In a team, you can have up to seven characters. Since everyone has different characters, let me outline the main strategies for you. When you have a particular character, you can refer to my suggestions for team composition. Well, I have two team builds to recommend for different scenarios, boss battles and farm levels. For boss battles, it's important to have at least two assault characters, especially when facing difficult bosses. Additionally, having one supporter in the team can greatly boost the ATK of all characters. Guards also play a crucial role in boss battles because even if your DPS is high, having weak DEF won't protect you when the boss activates their skills. Especially in challenging raid events, another essential character to include is a healer, who can heal all team members at critical moments and some healers even provide damage buffs. Apart from these roles, control characters are also crucial in boss battles, although bosses may have resistance effects. The good thing is that this game doesn't involve accuracy rates, so you can effectively weaken the boss's sacred buffs. Furthermore, mastering character combos can significantly increase the team's ATK percent, especially during raid events where you need to maximize your ATK to defeat the boss in the shortest amount of time. The second team build is specifically for farm levels. In this team, the main DPS should be a character with AoE abilities, paired with a supporter, who can enhance AoE damage. You can quickly eliminate mobs of enemies. The remaining assault characters with single target abilities can focus their firepower on high HP enemies. In this team, the focus is on stacking AoE and assault characters, and having one healer is sufficient. This setup allows for faster progression through levels, saving you valuable game time. Lastly, it's important to remember the element advantage gameplay mechanic in this game. Before using Catapult, observe the elemental attributes of the enemies and prioritize using characters that have an advantage against them. Additionally, aim for the core when attacking enemies and adjust the angle of the catapult. This skill is similar to the gameplay mechanics of Angry Birds, and a well-executed catapult shot can indirectly provide buff effects. If you found this information helpful, please consider liking and sharing this video to help more people discover it. Well, the above Kimono Friends Kingdom best tier list and team build by represents the viewpoint of Mox Gaming, and I've provided timestamps in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video and see you.